Okay, well last night I hung out in Durango, Colorado with my buddy Omar and today, this morning, it's still morning, I'm arriving at Mesa Verde National Park uh, here in Colorado. It's kind of a little out of my way because I'm planning on going north into further into uh, Colorado, but uh, today... But today I'm going to do uh, check out Mesa Verde, and then I'm going to start heading uh, heading back east, and then up north into Colorado. Let me get a picture of this sign real quick, because I like to do that. Okay, I just went through the park entrance, and now I'm, uh, it, I just passed a sign that says it's 23 mile drive in here to get to the cliff dwellings. What? So it looks like we're going to be taking this winding road, it's 35 miles an hour on the road, take this winding road up to the top of this uh, mountain. And that looks like that's where the cliff dwellings are going to be. It's kind of a, a switchback up the side of the mountain here. Oh, that's a massive curve. Oh, interesting. We have a tunnel coming up. Tunnel straight through the mountain. Sweet! I don't think I've done one of these before. Ooh, dark. I got my lights on. Check out the clouds, we're getting a little high. So we've got some clouds up here along these little mountain peaks. Well, it looks like we just continue around here. <laughs> it's it's kind of eerie with the clouds and it's it's an overcast day and we got the clouds flowing through the the foresty area mountain area How dark it is up here. Totally getting into some thick clouds. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just thought about that might make it hard to see these uh, cliff dwellings with all the clouds. I didn't think about the fact we're gonna, or I didn't know that we're gonna be up this high. I mean, it's like foggy, but it's hard to see now. The clouds are so thick up here. It's funny, I'm all super cautious because I haven't done this before and everyone else is just cruising by on the opposite side. Just ee, ee, ee. Slow vehicles use pull out in 500 feet. 
Okay, well, I have no one behind me. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, you cannot see very well through here. Man. This is a trip. I'm glad I'm getting this on video. We are on video, right? Let's check. Uh, yeah, we're recording it. Good. And that battery has got two bars. All righty. Oh, now we're going to start going down. I'm starting to catch up to this other vehicle up here. <clears throat> they are taking it easy. That is a trip. We look at the west side of the plaza, we do have some standing architecture, not nearly as much. It's harder to know how tall the rooms over here would have been, but we can say probably safely at least one story tall, but again, possibly some taller structures. Now behind you, this is more interesting to think about. So we've already had our young archaeologist, where are you? There you are. What's your name? Ada. Ada. Ada has correctly identified, and I'm going to use my green light again. Take a look at this lowest wall fragment that's just kind of right here. Oh, this, this is horrible. So, wall fragment right here, but follow it up. And then you get to sort of a corner yes. oh, yeah. stub. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know that we had a series of rooms right here. But, think about this. Way above us is our upper ledge spaces. We've got to get to those rooms somehow. Right. So once again, archaeologists think that you're going to have rooms that are at least four stories tall.
Well, today's going to be a long day. Um, <clears throat> speaking of long, I just did long, long house. I just did long house trail. I'm in the uh, Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado. I just did long house trail and step house trail on one side of the park and now I'm heading over the opposite side to do Cliff Palace to go see Cliff Palace and to see the balcony balcony trail or something uh, I got here at 8 o'clock in the morning it's now noon I just finished these two trails now it's about an hour, 45 minutes an hour drive uh, to the other side because you're going up and down hills and through switchbacks and curves and it's 25 miles per hour so it takes a little time but uh, I'm gonna go do those other two um, I've got them scheduled I've got a schedule ones at 2 30 ones at 4 but I'm I think I'm ahead of schedule I do need to have lunch first but I'm gonna see if I can slip in and get in early Hi there my YouTube pals, thank you for watching this video all the way through. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go like the video, especially if you liked it, and maybe check out one of these other videos I have listed here on the screen. You can also keep up with me on Facebook, Instagram, and TravelinTroy.com. Thank you.